What a great opening welcome we got. What's up, Austin? Just on high, baby. We've got a lot of Arizona kids on our football team. The real Aggies. Oh, yeah, it's the real Aggies. Gotta love it. A Tucson style introduction for another team from our border southwest, the Mexico State Aggies. More on the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl in just a bit. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Seacola, but first, this time tomorrow, Arizona's football team will most likely be celebrating a Foster Farms Bowl victory or licking their wounds from a loss. Coach Rich Rodriguez and his boys are hoping to knock off Purdue in the Bay Area Wednesday night. News 4 Tucson's very own Ari Alexander joins us with more from San Francisco. Hey, Paul, we're here at the beautiful Hyatt Regency Hotel in San Francisco where it's press conference day. We got to hear from Arizona, got to hear from Purdue talking about the Arizona Wildcats and how hard it is going to be to stop Khalil Tate in that offense. But we always talk about Khalil Tate. We always talk about the offense. Let's talk about the Arizona defense and how these young guys are learning and getting ready to try to stop that explosive Purdue Jeff Brom offense. We have a young defense, but we have a great young defense. And with, you know, they're taking all the coaching and everything they possibly can, and they're only getting better, which that's why I can't wait to see what the future holds. I have seen them make progress. We have not been good defensively for a lot of different reasons. And, uh, but they've played hard and they've gotten better. And boy, we're really excited about, there were times, I think we started five true freshmen at times. So we have, uh, really excited about how good these guys are gonna be in the next few years. They're a typical Big Ten team, big, big up front, big linebackers, um, a lot of run support safeties. I think, um, I think the key is just, you just gotta overpower them. I mean, that's, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a dog fight from the beginning to the end. On paper, that's something that a lot of people would see as an issue with the Wildcats starting so many freshmen on the defensive side. But here's the thing, they're good. Guys like Colin Schooler and Tony Fields and Kylan Wilborn are named freshman All-American by different publications. And that's going to be a strength that the Wildcats have. These guys are fast. These guys are big. And they're still getting better. And they're going to have one more chance to continue to improve tomorrow in Santa Clara. Reporting from San Francisco, Ari Alexander, News for Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot, Ari. Back here in the old Pueblo, the NMSU football team made the less than four hour drive from West down Interstate 10 and arrived to Tucson this afternoon to a grand welcoming. Listen up. Yes, the Aggies busted to the West in La Paloma from Las Cruces as they get set for bowl week activities. There's Tucson high grad and defensive back Austin Perkins back in his hometown. The Mexico State players are excited to smack helmets with Utah State this Friday in the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl. So is also the son of Sunnyside football coach Roy Lopez. Roy Jr. seen getting off the bus here with that long hair. Was really excited. Here's NMSU coach Doug Martin. We're so thrilled to be here. The bowl reps and everybody have been very accommodating to us and our players are excited about playing. Obviously it's been a long time for us to play in one of these games and uh, I think Las Cruces will show up huge for you. But we're real excited about being in Tucson. It's going to be a great football game. We're playing a great Utah State team. And uh, you know, we couldn't be more excited. Hey, meanwhile, Utah State's players left the snow and cold of Logan, Utah for the nearly 80 degree weather here in Tucson. And arrived last night, Utah State had its first practice at the Kino Sports Complex this afternoon. We've got three practices, and, and uh, we look forward to kind of getting to do that, but being around the city of Tucson and having a little free time, too. Tremendous welcome, and this committee's done a great job putting on this bowl game, and, uh, you know, the city of Tucson and everything that they do uh, for this bowl game, we're excited to be in it. <laughs> so they're here. <laughs> the it's fading it's weather bowl again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, Appreciate you got it. it. All right, speaking of cold, up next, 53 inches of snow. Not so bad as long as you don't have to shovel it. And that dog is digging it. <laughs> 